early placental mammals seem to have greatly increased the number of olfactory receptors which they possess. And many uh, groups of animals or uh, of mammals are very dependent on their senses of smell. Mice, for example, may possess more than thir uh, 1,300 uh, olfactory receptor genes. Now, although the early primates had many olfactory uh, receptor genes, uh, the lineages of higher primates have uh, developed mutations which have rendered many of these non-functional. A non-functional gene is referred to as a pseudogene. So, for example, while the New World monkeys, were the, which are the most primitive monkeys, possess a, ver a very uh, insignificant number of pseudogenes, almost a third of the olfactory uh, genes in Old World monkeys are pseudogenes, meaning that they are non-functional. Now, apes and humans are more closely related to the Old World monkeys, and it is estimated that about half of all of the olfactory receptors in the human genome are non-functional. In other words, it seems that while ancestral mammals and primates may have depended greatly on their sense of smell, that the higher primates relied more and more on vision. As this uh, focus on vision occurred, mutations in the olfactory genes were not as serious and therefore were tolerated. And more and more of the olfactory genome, which once again is huge in the number of genes uh, involved, became non-functional in humans. Potentially, we have the genetic ability to be much more sensitive to smell, but because uh, about half of our uh, genes are non-functional, uh, our sense of smell is not as acute uh, as those of more primitive placental mammals and more primitive primates. There are differences in what individual humans can smell. There are ethnic differences in the inability to smell musk and the inability to detect the sweaty odor of isovaleric acid. There is an interesting variability in the detection of uh, androstenone. Half of those examined find that it has no odor, even when concentrated. 15% detect an odor but do not find it offensive and may even find it pleasant. And 35% are very sensitive to this odor and find it unpleasant. About 2 million Americans suffer from a loss or reduction of smell. Since the olfactory uh, system projects into the limbic system, it has uh, roles in memory and emotions more so than other uh, senses. Smell is involved in the establishment of the mother-infant bond.